never know where I'm wrong or right. I play the best I can. I don't know where I'm and wrong that's, or right. And that's the best thing that can happen. Who oh, you suck? I think you're tripping with yes, I'm the boss. Say I'm 45, white on white, that's Rick Ross. I cut them wide, I cut them long, I cut them fat. I keep them coming back. We keep them coming back. I'm Hey my cues, welcome back to my channel. This is Tinky Q. I am so excited to be doing this, guys. Like when I tell y'all, I have literally been talking about doing something like this for about a year now. Super excited that the time is now here for it to be done and for it to be completed. And I can't wait for us to see where this show really goes. I hope that it touches a lot of people and it helps a lot of people. I hope that you guys get to see my mindset and feel more comfortable expressing yours. So this show is titled Tanika Diaries. The episode is going to be a little different. Um, so in this episode, we're going to be talking about nostalgia. I'm actually going to be doing my makeup and talking with you guys about this topic, what it means to me, and then we can have a discussion about it. And we can also beat our face while we're doing it. Hello. Firstly, I just got done washing my face. Um, I did not put my lotion or anything on because I kind of want to do it on camera. I do want to pull my little strands out. We're going to tuck her back. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the fat water. Let me grab it. I don't like talking to the side. Here because I am on my cycle, so I am breaking out just a tad. Next thing I'm going to use is my um, Hydrovisor, the little lotion, a little bit of this, same thing. This is good, it has sunscreen, um, it's very moisturizing, it smells nice, it um, feels really good on the skin too. I keep forgetting, make sure I go back. I want to give a shout out to the brand Bath & Butter. You have to check them out, they have so many goodies. She has so many different collections now, but this was one of her very first. But I wanted to show you guys like her packaging. It's a lot of stuff packed up in here. We have chapsticks in here. Um, she has bath bombs. She has tea bags for your baths, fresh flowers. This is her deep breath eucalyptus bath bomb. Let me see, there we go. I can't do my hand behind it because I'm holding holding it up with my, you get it, mm -hmm. eucalyptus and mint. I had the lemon, I used that one up. I had another eucalyptus and mint, that one is gone also. Uh, so this is actually my third chapstick i love her chapsticks they are really really good it's so much in here and i hope that you guys definitely go shop with her um her information and her link will be down below so let's finally get started i've already groomed up my eyebrows one of those girls that start my eyebrows but i also need to start with moisturizing my lips this is the ulta juice infused lip oil and then i actually put the rest of my carmex in here so it's like peach carmex like, mm, so luscious. <laughs> the meaning of nostalgia is a sentimental or longing or wishful affection for the past, typically for a period or place with happy personal association, right? So the reason that I even said, let me title the first episode, Nostalgia, I feel like we're in a time where everybody's reminiscing, you know what I mean? Everybody's like, man, I miss the times where this was going on or that was going on. So many shows that are being brought back and they're doing really well because they give you that feeling of nostalgia. Remember just those good times, those good memories, those good feelings. I like to do my eyebrows in a relaxed face because I, I relax my face. I was saying, nostalgia just brings you that feeling of goodness. It doesn't matter if it's like a smell, if it's like a certain uh, painting or you walk down a certain street that was like um, the street of your childhood home. Nostalgia just feels good. I think in times like this, we actually need more memories. We need to create memories now that make us feel good for later. And nostalgia is kind of like that long-term good feeling if that makes sense so i was riding down the highway the other day getting off work 
and I literally had this taste and it was crazy because like I didn't smell it I didn't um like smell it anywhere it just was like this random taste for my mom's chili and so I go to the grocery store and I went in and I got all the things that I know or that I think my mom uses for a chili and I didn't call her I didn't you know to like double check the recipe kind of went in and was like yeah I kind of know like I've made chili a few times before I don't know you know whatever the time that I was shopping I just kept thinking about those memories where my mom would be in the kitchen would be cooking and you know my mom is one of those women that's like don't come in this kitchen while I'm cooking for my groceries for this chili I'm just steady thinking about all those memories like man I really loved those times when I was younger and I didn't really know like what was going on the world kind of seemed more peaceful because mind you this is like like a 2005 type era I kept thinking about so then I go home I call my mom and I tell her about this whole chili debacle first thing she says is, is, is am I pregnant no mom <laughs> Why are you just randomly craving chili? I don't know. But come to find out, my coworkers actually had chili at work. Smelled the chili that they had at work. Didn't think anything about it. But then on the way home, I guess when my mind was more free or more decluttered or something, it just brought back all of these memories of my mom's chili. Granted, it didn't smell like my mama's chili. I ain't gonna cap that. Never get it right. My chili be good but it's never like my mama's. There's so many other things that she makes that are phenomenal and nobody can make it like her. For some reason that day, it made me nostalgic the entire day. And to call my mom and to know how warm and fuzzy it made her feel that a, a, a meal that she made like years ago still brings me good feelings good memories those warm fuzzy feelings of simple times times before the internet before instagram youtube you know when things were simple that took away from the simplicity of just being the nostalgia of what i was going through it actually brought her nostalgia of those times when i was just a kid let's get done with the space <laughs> this month is um mental health awareness month right and i think that it's like really important that we find things that make us feel good especially in times like this like right now it's so much going on, you know what I'm saying? Between like different countries facing different things. Um, you know, America going through everything that we're going through. They just passed the craziest law. And I'm one of those people that I get kind of sad. Like when I think about all that's going on in the world, I really do because I can't do anything about it. Can't do anything to change it. And people are hurting and going through such difficult times and now you know people don't value life like they used to i've just kind of i don't know i guess i've morphed my brain into thinking about past times versus the present times to kind of help with feeling so down about it nothing life is perfect life is great you know what i'm saying do 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 they're showing you their best self as they should and now it's really affecting people because now people are like comparing their lives and they feel like oh um you know i can't obtain what they have or um i can't do this i can't do that i can't no what it really is is a lot of people can't move past their own head honestly i've seen so many people including myself really grow and thrive from getting out of your comfort zone, getting out of your head, telling yourself like, I can never do this, I can never be that, I can never be this person or that person. And you're not supposed to be, you're right, you never can be that person because you're supposed to be somebody totally different. I've seen so many influencers like start from 
zero you know what i'm saying i've watched and read speeches where different celebrities even like steve harvey he talked about how he didn't take off until he was 33 and how he was homeless like for years living out of his car you know what i'm saying main thing is everybody struggles that's all i'm saying everybody struggles especially in these times but i say that to say whatever you're going through and i know it's so cliche because it's like you can tell anybody yeah whatever you're going through is gonna get better and then you be thinking like is it is it really shoot <laughs> when but you will you have to get out your head it's your head honestly And I am not a professional makeup artist, y'all. Not at all. So, I don't need no comments like, oh, you should have did this. Oh, you should have did that. Oh, you should have do do deep do doop do Honey, my face, my way, it's going to come out beat. Don't do that. <laughs> Keep that over there. Don't do that. Check in with me. How do I feel right now? How do I feel? Honestly, I don't know. I know it's like, it's not crazy to say, because I feel like a lot of us are in this state where we don't know, like genuinely don't know how to feel, don't know what to feel, um, because every day is like something new, L literally on Instagram and someone else's past or um, somebody has been, you know, like, ah. <sighs> I took a very long uh, Instagram break because um, it was needed, honestly. Like, I was off of Instagram for like two, three months. Um, I was in school at the time. I did graduate school. Um, I was in real estate school, period. But I actually took a very long Instagram break. It was needed because I had to. I really had to. And um, I learned like so much to be learning or something like what's really going on why is so many people just so willing to do things harmful things to people they don't know like not knowing that you're messing someone up in the long run you're taking people away that they may have needed you know what I mean like there was a video on Facebook and this guy was on live and he was riding around making people pass away. Yes, you heard me right. He was literally aiming out the car. Innocent people. Like, why is that even allowed on a platform? And we see so many videos like that from that same platform. Kids are seeing, you know, this type of stuff, but you know, that's 2022, social media. Mm -hmm. I'm right on my lashes. I think so. I kind of like my doughy eye look though we can do a little inner corner here just to cover up my lash love it love 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 it oh it's so cute yes love that it's not gonna do anything but mix with my foundation so I don't mind and I'm just gonna put this in my T-zone and around my smile lines. It's the fact that my pimple's really trying to like end me right now. Like, they worse than the Nicki Minaj haters, boy.
face first. I'm gonna use my Morphe Jumbo Continuous Setting Mist. And now I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna use my Maybelline City Bronzer BH Cosmetics Palette, which I am, I'm paying on like all of these y'all. Like I really have to go and get some new makeup. Uh, comment down below what some items that you think I should get. Like what are some good brown skin girl powders for bronzing? What are some good brown skin girl powders for contouring? I want something warm. I don't need nothing that give me mud, I need warm. Comment down below. Some items that I need to go and purchase and pick up or try or review and I will read because we up in the makeup game. <laughs> To make my big old eyes even bigger. Mm -hmm. You see them? No, you see them now. <laughs> I like to put my little mole back right here. Let me see if y'all can see it. Y'all see it? Right there. And I sometimes do like maybe like a little one up on it. You know what I'm saying? A little, little one up on it all. You know, little one. And then I'm gonna just turn one of my pimples into a mole too, cause you know. And now that the face is done, I do have tapings in my head. Uh, ooh. It's about time for them to come out though, and okay, I'm gonna help you. <laughs> I feel like that's like the easiest stuff. Okay, y'all, so now we got the final look. Final look, okay? Final look, but okay, final look. So, what is gonna be our mental takeaway notes from this episode? I feel like the mental notes, they have to be something that means something like we can't just be stuck in this nostalgia and in this nostalgic era of trying to bring back how everything else used to make us feel when in reality it seems like some of the things that we're doing now we need to convert back instead of bringing back old shows that make you feel good let's bring back being humble let's bring back being nice to each other let's bring back you know what I'm saying? Not each other over the most simplistic things because that too was a part of those times. That's why it seems so peaceful, so pleasant, and so happy because people weren't doing the things that they're doing now. People were nicer to each other. People cared about other people. People would stop and help somebody whose car broke down in the rain. I was speaking to one of my best friends in the whole wide world and it was funny it wasn't funny but it was crazy to hear him say like I saw a car broke down on the side of the road and so many cars passed and I thought about stopping but then I thought you never know if they're gonna put a gun on you you don't know if their car being broken down is actually a, a setup to to up you or just all of these really bad things were going through his head instead of let me help and now in our society that's a natural instinct to think of all the things that can go wrong before thinking let me be kind and let me help because so many kind people are passing away so i want to say the main mental note that i'm going to take away from this is 
Always do the things that make you feel good and conscious free. The things that take you back to one of the best memories. Where were you? How, how were you? What were you thinking at that time? What did you go through right before those amazing memories happened to you? We always think back on the past, but when you think back on the past, you spent a lot of time praying for where you are now. I hope that this episode meant something to you because it meant a lot to me just to feel me. I love you, my T's and my Q's. Stay beautiful, stay peaceful, and stay positive. Until next time. Oh